Lawyers for Daniel Luna, the Oakland man attacked after the NFC Championship game this week, now say that he is in a coma and his injuries remain critical. Tonight, his lawyers tell Crom Fours Amanda Harry they now need help from other folks who were also at that game. Daniel Luna's family lawyer says they're asking any witnesses of the incident that happened at SoFi Stadium to come forward. They say that witnesses could have a different perspective on exactly what happened. It's going to be a long road for Daniel. The family of a man injured in the parking lot of SoFi Stadium during the NFC Championship game released an update on his condition, saying, quote, our loved one, Daniel Luna, remains in a coma in intensive care after the violent attack. We pray for him. He has a long and challenging road ahead of him. And uh, that's really what the focus is right now. The family's lawyer, Jonathan Davis, says Luna had a hemicraniectomy to relieve internal pressure on his brain. The Inglewood mayor explained how Luna was hurt. He says it began when Luna, wearing a white jersey, pushed suspect Brian Cifuentes, wearing a yellow jersey. The individual in the white jersey pushes the individual in the yellow jersey, and he falls over backward but doesn't fall to the ground. The individual in the yellow jersey pushes the individual in the white jersey and then strikes him once, it appears, in the face area. The individual in the white jersey falls backwards, hits his head on the pavement. Fuentes was arrested and released on $30,000 bail. The mayor says they're going off of 90 seconds of blurry surveillance video, but Davis and the family are hoping witnesses may know more. They may have seen something 15, 20 minutes before. We don't know. As I said, we don't know the facts. Davis says while the family's biggest focus is Luna's recovery, they're also hoping to create change that will result in a safer stadium environment. These are highly charged environments. We know that and security is key. The lawyer also tells me that the family is grateful for all the paramedics and doctors who have been working hard on Luna's case. They say they also want to thank the police officers and law enforcement agencies that are working on this as well. Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.